हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अदेश गार्ड में फ्रेंड्स वी हैव अर्लियर लर्न अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एस वी हैव लर्न दैट देर आर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द एस ए दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन बॉडी एंड द कंक्लूजन इंट्रोडक्शन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एन एस एंड सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू राइट ग्रेट इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट शुड बी डन वॉट शुड नॉट बी डन सो टूडे इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन regarding the introduction writing great introduction we will conclude this particular topic on the next video lesson so let's understand first the importance of introduction now how to write great introduction this is the question we want because introduction is like the face of the essay the examiner start your essay by reading the introduction if the introduction is not impressive then the examiner may not read the whole essay with the same attention and if the introduction is great he is going to be impressed and you are likely to get benefit of that in the entire part of the essay so we must first understand the purpose of introduction the purpose of introduction is to explain the issue in brief and create some sort of curiosity in the reader to read the answer further so the introduction is the most important thing because it will motivate the reader or the examiner to read the entire essay introduction sets tone for what to expect next in the subsequent body paragraphs it creates the first impression in the mind of examiner and therefore introduction becomes very very important as far as the essay is concerned normally what happens that we are in hurry so whatever comes into our mind we start writing the introduction accordingly or we start writing the essay accordingly that we should not do we should not write introduction spontaneously based on whatever comes to your mind introduction should be written after careful thought you should spend a few minutes thinking different types of introduction and then only you should begin the first sentence so we are going to discuss in this particular topic a different variety of introduction which can be given on any topic of essay you have to choose which method you want to adopt and how you can write great introduction so let's talk about the first point the first point about writing introduction is avoid cliches cliches basically means something which is very routine so we should not have something you know which everybody is writing or almost every alternate student may be writing we have to avoid that so the first sentence should be an attention grabber a quote some interesting facts or figure anecdotes recent news or even a small fictional story provides a good start so if you start your essay with any things like that it will actually make your essay more interesting because that's not everybody else is writing but suppose you start your essay by defining terms of the topic or use a very popular quote it will make your introduction predictable and common place because many students may be writing the introduction in the same way and therefore it will not have any impact on the examiner and so the need of the creativity is highest in the introduction part because it makes your first impression on the examiner or on the reader for example if you are writing any essay on the topic concerning tolerance peace or non violence it is very common that the students will be quoting the quote of mahatma gandhi an eye for an eye makes whole world blind this is a quote which most of the students know now suppose you also start your essay with this quotation it's not going to make any impact on the examiner in the same way suppose you have to start the essay with definition definition of violence non violence nationalism globalization it is not going to make much impact because that's something which the examiner is expecting so the first tip is that avoid all sort of cliches be creative in the first part of the introduction the second is make it interesting you should motivate the examiner or reader to read the complete essay and you should generate curiosity by the introduction so that he starts wondering what you are going to write and what arguments you are going to advance to prove your point so if he makes some unconventional start makes some radical assumption in the essay in the introduction part itself the examiner would start wondering how this essay is going to be written and therefore he is going to read your entire essay a good essay is like a thriller which is unpredictable till the last 
so you should make it interesting by giving it many twist and turn till the last para that basically means is that your essay should not be predictable just like you know when you start reading a fiction and if you know the end then the thrill is lost so that curiosity has to be created so you have to imagine that how you can make the essay interesting let's now go to the third tip and this is about starting the essay with quotation quotations contain deep wisdom in very few words so for example when you say something like honesty is the best policy this is a wisdom which is all pervasive and it, this wisdom is coming after lots of experience a common person may be thinking that honesty is a bad policy but if you are a wise person you know that honesty is the best policy and this is the truth of all the quotations all the quotations become popular because there is some great truth in that quotation so you can start the essay with a quotation and if you are using an interesting and relevant quotation that can give you a head start the important thing is that it is easy to memorize shorter quotes for example power corrupt and absolute power corrupt absolutely honesty is the best policy be the change you want to see in the world so remember this shorter quotation because you can remember those quotation much more easily so just like you put in so much of effort in other papers of general studies to remember so much of data in the essay paper you must remember at least 200 300 quotations by heart so you should learn and remember interesting quotes on popular topics like peace democracy equality secularism politics youth society history wars science and technology internet life success honesty corruption feminism and womanhood freedom sports hunger and food then economy india world religion and all that you should remember by heart the quotes by eminent personalities like mahatma gandhi martin luther king mother teresa abraham lincoln warren buffett steve jobs and personality like that so you must have a repository of at least 200 to 300 quotations which you can use during your essay writing so your quote must match the original substantially many people make up their quote and write that's not a correct practice because if the examiner knows about the quote and you have written some wrong quote or you have quoted a non existing quote then you may actually get very bad marks so don't do this sort of fallacy don't do this sort of fraud and don't write a quotation which is not attributed to the personality you are not expected to write word by word quotation as long as it is substantially matching with the original quotation the examiner will definitely consider it a right quotation now let us take an example suppose you have to write an essay on the topic has rti act outlived its utility then you can start the essay like this knowledge is power information is power said robin morgan an american poet author political theorist the secreting or holding of knowledge or information may be an act of tyranny conflagged as humanity so this quotation can give you a head start because this summarizes the importance of knowledge and information then we can continue india prides itself to be the largest democracy of the world however the indian government system was always shrouded in secrecy and red tapeism despite being the ruler in a democracy the indian citizens were totally powerless as they had no access to the information in a government office which used to be protected by the pre colonial official secret act and so many other laws so in this way you can start your essay with a quotation now let us take up the fourth tip for writing the introduction in this method you provide facts and figure for writing the introduction so if you have the data which you may be learning while preparing for general studies paper 1 2 3 in that situation you can use the same data and you can start your essay with facts and data and that can really make an impact on the examiner so you should present the relevant facts and figure in the introduction if you present the right data examiner is likely to be convinced that you know your subject very well so you should have the list of the latest facts and figure handy and these facts and figure you may be learning in your general studies paper for example when you are talking about economics or market or analyzing a policy it is always better to cite some figures than quotes 
बिकॉज मार्केट एंड इकोनॉमिक्स इज अबाउट नंबर्स एंड नॉट मच अबाउट हु सेट वॉट सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दीज टॉपिक्स लाइक जी डी पी ग्रोथ इकोनॉमी और एनी थिंग लाइक दैट इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर दैट यू प्रेजेंट सम यू नो फैक्ट्स ऑन दैट इन द सेम वे फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट करप्शन इट इज बेटर दैट यू गिव द फैक्चुअल डेटा फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम ट्रांसपेरेंसी इंटरनेशनल रादर दैन सेंग दैट इंडिया इज वेरी करप्ट कंट्री और सेंग समथिंग एल्स सो ऑलवेज इफ यू गिव सम फैक्ट एंड फिगर्स दैट इज गोइंग टू मेक योर रस्से वेरी इंप्रेसिव यू मस्ट डेवलप अ रिपोजिटरी ऑफ यूजफुल फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर टू राइट द एसे नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस बाई हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज योर एसे टॉपिक इज इफ डेवलपमेंट इज नॉट इन जेंडर इट इज इन डेंजर नाउ दिस टॉपिक बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट टू बी इंक्लूसिव ऑफ बोथ द जेंडर दैट मीन्स मेल एंड फीमेल इफ द डेवलपमेंट डज नॉट इंक्लूड वन ऑफ द जेंडर लाइक द फीमेल इन दैट सिचुएशन सच टाइप ऑफ डेवलपमेंट के नॉट सस्टेन एंड दिस इज इन डेंजर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द एस ए ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी इंडियन प्राइड आवर सेल्फ एज द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वी आर ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द फास्टेस्ट डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हाई वर सो फार द डेवलपमेंट हैज नॉट बीन फेयर बिटवीन द मैन एंड वोमेन इन इंडिया इंडिया रैंक्स ट्वेंटी एथ फ्रॉम द बॉटम इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ वोमेन इन द पार्लियामेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्लोबल जेंडर गैप रिपोर्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेल्व बाई वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम इवन इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ओनली फिफ्टीन परसेंट वोमेन वर रिप्रेजेंटेड इन पार्लियामेंट इंडिया रैंक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एथ एमंग वन थर्टी वन कंट्रीज इन फीमेल लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन रेट इन टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवनटीन अकॉर्डिंग टू अ रिपोर्ट बाई इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द इनरोलमेंट ऑफ गर्ल्स इन हायर एजुकेशन इंक्रीज फ्रॉम थर्टी नाइन परसेंट टू फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सेवन टू टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टीन बट फीमेल पार्टिसिपेशन इन इंडियाज लेबर फोर्स डिक्लाइन टू अ लो ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट इन टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टीन फ्रॉम थर्टी फोर परसेंट इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू आई एम एफ स्टडी टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन मोर ओवर ओनली ट्वेंटी एट were found to have a job or looking for one while 82% of the adult indian male were working so this essay has started with a large number of statistical data you may not be able to reproduce all these data but at least some data you can recollect some data you can produce and in this way you can start a great introduction so friend this is one method of writing the introduction where we can start with giving facts and figure and this is going to really impress the examiner and that way we can start a great essay so friends today we have learned about the four tips for writing a great introduction of the essay we'll continue with this topic in the next session thank you very much